So, uh, Stellantis has announced the opening of its Ellesmere Port manufacturing facility, which will become the first plant dedicated to electric vehicle production. Our home security editor Liam Halligan joins us from the site. Morning, Liam. Good morning, I should say. And this is very good news for the economy, isn't it? And for the local area, of course. It is indeed, Andrew. So I'm here at Ellesmere Port, just across from the River Mersey. I'm in Cheshire. They've been making cars here since the early 60s under the Vauxhall brand. We know that now almost two-fifths of all cars produced in the UK are EVs or electric vehicles, and that is going to go up as the ban on new sales of petrol and diesel cars looms in 2030. Stellantis is a conglomerate. It's a French-Italian-American conglomerate. It's owned Vauxhall since 2021. There's a Vauxhall plant in Luton, of course, and there's a Vauxhall plant here in Ellesmere Port. And I'd say the security of this plant is now very, very clear. Stellantis has invested a huge amount of money in the building behind me. We can't get in there to broadcast live. We're having problems with the signal because of the steel roof of the building. But behind me, I've seen it. You can see some of the pictures here. We took some pictures earlier. They have repurposed the production plant. It's the size of three football pitches. And they're going to be producing here 75-odd thousand new EV vans under the Vauxhall combo mark per year securing Bev and Andrew and this is fantastic news over a thousand jobs well-paid skilled jobs for this area producing electric vehicles for years to come and Liam I can remember as you will remember during the great referendum debate how the whole car industry in this country would collapse there'd be no more car production nothing would happen here because Brexit would scare away investors this is uh, palpably untrue because this is the this this development here shows there's still confidence in Britain. This is a major vote of confidence in the UK and indeed in the North West. There's a tremendous tradition of car making on this site, on this whole industrial estate. And Stellantis, the third biggest car maker in the world, these guys manufacture it in over 30 countries. They're a huge business and they've chosen the UK, Bev and Andrew, to site their first ever in the world EV dedicated, electric vehicle dedicated production facility. That's what they'll be doing here. It's Vauxhall Combo Vans for now. Uh, they'll be launching the production of EV passenger vehicles on this site uh, early next year. And yet, yeah, you're right, it wasn't Brexit that really hammered the UK uh, car production industry. It was lockdown. Before lockdown, we were producing over a million cars a year in this country. Uh, the figures that came out uh, uh, last week suggest that we're approaching that. We're still some way short. But it's production facilities like this here in Ellesmere Port that will mean the British car making industry, which still employs directly and indirectly around a million people, often in parts of the country that need those jobs. They're well paid, highly skilled jobs in manufacturing, paying a lot more than the average wage. I think this investment by Stellantis uh, means that the future of car making here in Ells Ellesmere Port is secure. Lots of issues with EVs, of course, that we can debate. But for now, this is really good news. And of course, when you're building electric vehicles, Liam, that you're not just building the car. There will also need to be charging stations. There will need to be replacement batteries made. There's a whole knock on effect, isn't there, of other jobs which will be created in the longer term? Bev, no one knows really what the future of low emission motoring is. It may be all electric vehicles, it may be hydrogen, but we know EVs are going to be a significant part of it. And that's why Stellantis have taken a very hard-nosed decision. They still own the Vauxhall car plant in Luton. Uh, they've taken a hard-nosed decision to double up, double down, if you like, on the UK by investing heavily into the repurposing of this production facility uh, behind me dedicated to EVs. It is a major boost for the economy. The future of electric vehicles does mean an awful lot of building, an awful lot of construction. And, you know, there will now be pressure because the likes of Stellantis have made this very high profile investment. The first electric vehicle rolling off the production 
facility this morning of the first EV dedicated factory in the UK and a first for Stellantis. There will now be pressure on the British government, on local authorities to get on with those charging points. There is still a lot of range anxiety out there among motorists uh, that they won't be able to charge their car quickly when they're mid-journey. So yeah. there's a lot of work here to do, but there really is nothing else to say than mm. to celebrate the fact that the future of car making is secured on this historic site in Ellesmere Port in Cheshire.